Solve each equation algebraically. Check with the graphing calculator. In part A, solve x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x plus 24 equals 0. We can solve this equation by finding the x values or roots that make the equation true. Let's outline a strategy that can be used to find the roots. First, use the integral zero theorem to find potential zeros of the polynomial. Second, use synthetic division or other factoring techniques to factor the polynomial. Third, set each factor equal to zero to find the roots. And fourth, Check that the roots of the equation match the x-intercepts of p of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x plus 24. The constant term of the polynomial is 24. The integral factors of 24 are the potential zeros of the polynomial. p at 1 equals 12, so 1 is not a 0. p at negative 1 equals 30, so negative 1 is not a 0. p at 2 equals 0, so 2 is a 0. Since 2 is a 0 of the polynomial, x minus 2 is a factor. Set up the synthetic division. Complete the synthetic division. When we divide x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x plus 24 by x minus 2, we get x squared minus x minus 12. So, the factored form of the polynomial is x minus 2 times x squared minus x minus 12. Now factor x squared minus x minus 12 to get the fully factored form, x minus 2 times x minus 4 times x plus 3. We can find the roots by setting each factor equal to 0 and solving for x. x minus 2 equals 0 gives the root x equals 2. x minus 4 equals 0 gives the root x equals 4. And x plus 3 equals 0 gives the root x equals negative 3. The equation x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x plus 24 equals 0 is true when x equals negative 3, 2, and 4. The x-intercepts of p of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x plus 24 match the roots of the equation. In part b, solve 3x cubed plus 8x squared plus 4x minus 1 equals 0. The constant term of the polynomial is negative 1. The integral factors of negative 1 are the potential zeros of the polynomial. p at 1 equals 14, so 1 is not a 0. p at negative 1 equals 0, so negative 1 is a 0. Since negative 1 is a 0 of the polynomial, x plus 1 is a factor. Set up the synthetic division. 
Complete the synthetic division. When we divide 3x cubed plus 8x squared plus 4x minus 1 by x plus 1, we get 3x squared plus 5x minus 1. So the factored form of the polynomial is x plus 1 times 3x squared plus 5x minus 1. To find the roots of 3x squared plus 5x minus 1, we need to use the quadratic formula. Plug a, b, and c into the quadratic formula. Simplify. Simplify further to get the exact value answer. The equation 3x cubed plus 8x squared plus 4x minus 1 equals 0 is true when x equals negative 5 minus root 37 over 6, negative 1, and negative 5 plus root 37 over 6. The x-intercepts of p of x equals 3x cubed plus 8x squared plus 4x minus 1 match the roots of the equation.